Okay. Um, hello. Yeah, my name's Randall, and this is my friend Marvin Guerrero. The one and only Marvin Guerrero. Ito pa lekta, Marvin. I'm gonna interview you. I'm gonna ask you a lot of questions. I like the best. All right. So let's go. Let's let's do this now, Marvin. Uh, by the way, uh, we're gonna be featured in Icon 28. Mm. Now Icon is six years. Believe it or not, six years of doing this. This is a series of videos for Icon 20. Yes. So there will be around 100 videos. Uh, ha! To 100, I don't think I need 100 videos. So first things first, Marvin. Market has blood, is bloody. Bloody. So, yeah. ano ba? What, what can you say about what's happening? Let me tell, what's happening in the market today? Well, from a, no, from a trend perspective, it's really been in a downtrend now. Okay. Way before uh, the, the movement today, so we've we've seen the reversal late January. We've seen uh, bearish moves since March. So what I always tell people is, when it comes to the market, when it comes to market action, a market that's in a downtrend. This is technical analysis term already, but a market that's in a downtrend will continue uh, to go and progress downward until something shifts. So what does that mean to a normal investor? It means that as the market is going down. Uh, it's expected for stocks or markets that's that's in a downtrend to continue to go down. So, so it's going down. It's really going to go down. Oh, it's, it's just like you're parang, uh, in an escalator going down. Parang hindi ka dapat bulat na bumababa ka because you're in an escalator that's going down. It's part of uh, the normal progression of things. It's yeah. just that today and the past few days, it's been it has accelerated further. But it's still in the normal path where it's supposed to go. All right. Okay. Now. Fundamentally, is it something wrong with the economy, with all these trade wars happening right now? Well, you mentioned it properly, you know, abroad, uh, I think that's a, that's a sentiment that there's a lot of uh, things happening between US and China that's causing a lot of investors to uh, stay in the sidelines first. Uh, but in, in the Philippines, the, the story, the narrative is still there, however, the, even the book of the market natin na, we're still relatively expensive. Then the prevailing theme gen is uh, higher inflation, uh, the possibility of an increase in interest rates, a high dollar, then you also have high fuel costs which will impact inflation even even more. So I think So these things are these things dampens the market. Oh that's you add you add the three the, the, plus the downtrend and, and yeah. all put together. Yeah. That's why it's Going down fast. So I think uh, I, I think th those are the things that because for me uh, there has to be catalysts that will, be a oh, that will cause people to buy. Markets go up because there's there's buyers coming in. Yes. But with this risk, para if buyers are hesitant, uh, it might not be as. Uh, but probably the economy continues to be robust. Mm. We're still growing. We still have the young young demographics. The, I think the problem there is not because of the, the economy is good, it's just because that when we were at 8 9, we were expensive. Okay. So now we're cheaper, but the risks are still there. So, so the, the market really exerts itself. If you're too expensive, people stay away. And then you add you add the global factors. Global factors plus what's happening here, plus but there might be other avenues where they can put it. I'm talking about that's foreign investors. That may be advantageous compared to investing in the Philippines. And that's addition of our website. Ah! ah. I don't know how low it can go. No, I don't. I don't even know. It has to come to a point where it may come to a point where people think it's too cheap already. That it's even though it's, even though that there are risks involved, but there are there certain stocks, stocks we were discussing earlier. There were certain stocks that you think it's already cheap now are relatively cheaper, but uh, not cheap. Relatively no one, no one can know because where the where the bottom is. Yeah. But there, if if they come in now, the upside is there, but the progression is still down. So if they come in now. Uh, they get a larger margin later on, but they may have to wait if the market continues to go down also. Are we seeing, Marvin, are we seeing, are we near the bottom? Are we... I don't know. I, I don't know. What I, what I know is this. There's a support at 7,400. So, if we, okay. we stay... Just for our listeners, can you, can you talk a little bit what is support and what is resistance? No. Uh, it's a little bit. Something, something that, you know, simple people like me can understand. Okay, support is an area where there's a lot of buying, meaning if there's a lot of buying, uh, buyers bring the market up. Oh. So if there's a lot of buying, it, it sort of supports the stock or the market or the mutual fund. Oh, because you guys know, no, it's always um, demand and supply. Yeah, supply. So 
uh, as long as there's people supporting that price level, uh, it gives you a notion that we'll have a hard time to go down because there's a level of, of buying there. For example, you buy a camera for 33,000. As long as people are willing to buy the 33,000, it's buying price. Okay. So as of now, I think there's a support at 7,400. Is that if, if that's strong enough, we may just move from 74 to 77 in the next few months. Now, what is resistance naman? Resistance is the opposite side of support. It's where there's a lot of people selling. selling. And if there's more people selling, markets drop, markets go down because uh, it's it's a place where uh, buyers don't want to buy anymore. So, so simplify natin. Support is a good time for you to take a look at investing. When mm -hmm. you're nearing resistance, mm -hmm. is it a good time for you to unload certain investments? Especially for people who have shorter time frames. Or if you are planning to buy, don't buy new resistance. Don't buy new resistance. That's why now it's more advantageous for you to buy at 74 compared to 77 or 8. I have heard you say this. Buy at support, sell at resistance. Yes. So that's it. Uh, we're going to talk more about these, these things. Yeah. 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 I'm going to see. Yeah. ICO 20. What can we expect from ICO? From you at least. Uh, the goal of the goal of the talk there, you know, because there's a lot of people investing in stocks now. There's not so much stock investors yet, but there's more than where it was 11 years ago when I started. Uh, but there's a lot of people losing money also in the market, uh, and it's it's common because yeah, that's dangerous. Though when people lose money, they just stay out of the market altogether. Mm. And, and we don't want that. We want them to start investing. And the common rationale, because when they in, when they lose money is. Uh, they actually don't know what they want. It's okay to lose money in the market as long as uh, you you, yeah. you have it's part of your it's part of your buying and selling plan. No, I haven't seen anyone uh, who hasn't made a mistake. You will make mistakes in the market, but as long as uh, calculated you benta mo, I think it should be okay. But the problem is they sell out of desperation or talagang they just didn't know what they're buying and then they they sell it. So. Something, something to that effect. And that's not something that we want to plan. Yeah, right. so that's so what, yeah. more of these things we're going to uh, learn from Marvin. And not just Marvin, even the other speakers talked about these things in ICON 2018, our sixth ICON. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, sixth ICON. So, right. so, so go to our link, there's a link to show the link, link down uh, for our ICON. And we're going to do more of these videos yeah. this time as well. All right? That's it. See you all. Bye. Bye bye. Boom.